Hi, I'm Viola Davis, and I play Ma Rainey in Ma Rainey's Black Box. Well, I first came to learn about August Wilson's work, and it had a profound impact on me when I was about 19 years old in college. And a, an acting teacher came up to me and said, there's a writer that you need to know about because he, I think, is going to speak to you. And she showed me Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, and I read it, and it was me. It was my life. It was my father, my mom, my father, Dan Davis, my mom, May Alice, my, my, my grandmother, Moselle, and, and, and grandfather, Henry, Henry Lee Logan. It was their language. It was their cadences. It was their pain. It was their joy, their humor. Just just leapt out um, of the page, you know. And before that time, I absolutely was moved by the works of Shakespeare and, and Eugene O'Neill and Edward Albee and, and Arthur Miller, of course. But I was always trying to squeeze myself in it. I was always had to, like, my imagination was on overdrive to see myself in The Crucible or Death of a Salesman. But this one didn't take all of that energy. It just was immediate and hit me right away. And it sort of started a love affair, you know. He wrote for characters, for actors from the age of 11, which is Zonia in Joe Turner's Come and Gone, to Aunt Esther, who they say she could be 300-something years old, but usually you could be 80, 90 years old to play Aunt, and play Aunt Esther. So he, he wrote for actresses and actors along the, spec, the broad spectrum. And I think that's what needs to be exposed globally. And just simply what actors of color can do, what is within our ability to do, um, that's why it's important. Ma Rainey is an actual um, real person. She was considered the mother of the blues. And um, she was before Bessie Smith, Mamie Smith, and um, <clears throat> so through the course of this recording, you see how the time period, um, the great migration of all of us coming from the South to the North with that great promise of success and fulfillment, how all of that um, has affected us and how we somehow are still running from the trauma of the past. And even though Ma Rainey is famous, <laughs> and probably considered at the top of her game how much she just has to still fight for her rights, fight for her autonomy. Um, and um, it, is, it is a beautiful story that unfolds because it's filled with humor, it's filled with pathos, um, it's filled with extraordinary revelations, even about history. And uh, that's the story of my life. There is something about art that when you don't sometimes have the courage to speak your truth in your life, you can channel it through your art, okay? And that's what I feel like she did. And she did it in a time period we, where we absolutely had a muzzle on us. I wanted them to see how even though she probably was at the top of her game and reached the pinnacle of success, that at the end of the day, she was still fighting for her worth. She, they were, she was still fighting from the moment she got up to the moment she um, um, went to bed. Absolute choke -offs. That character, all, I mean, just reading it on the page, but just beautiful work from him. Beautiful work. The depth of, of, of where Levy goes and, and how frightening that role is. Um, he just went there, but I knew he could do it. You know, once again, look at me. I knew my baby could do it. <laughs>